Hey, thank you so much for tuning in. I've got an exciting video for you. It's going to be a little bit techy, but we're going to dive into some advanced features inside the custom video player. This video is in response to a request from a merchant, a vendor, an online seller that's using custom video player. What I'm going to show you in this video is how to pass on affiliate links into the actual video player. So instead of giving your customers just like an email swipe like everybody else, you can actually give them a video that they can copy and paste and embed that video on their site and it can be embedded with your uh, affiliate link as a seller. So as a seller, as an online merchant, I'm gonna show you how to use the custom video player to customize the videos with affiliate links. It's a really cool technique. A lot of people don't know it's possible. So let's jump in and see how we go. So here I am logged into the custom video player, video management platform. Take a look at this. Here we've got two different types of affiliate links. And what I'll do is I'll give one of my other products a plug here and use the WP Audio Pro as an example. And here we've got two types of affiliate links and, and yours will fit most likely into one of these two categories. We've got one where you've got the affiliate ID. So here we've got the website address and then we've got an affiliate ID. Now this could be any variable or it could be any type of link, but we've just got the affiliate ID. So when the affiliate ID changes, then a different affiliate is, is uh, tracked. Then we've got a different sort of link like this one here, where we've got like uh, several different things and you can actually crack this one down and know which one is the affiliate ID. But both of these can be integrated inside the custom video player uh, for your affiliates. So option one, we need to have a dynamic or we need to be able to change the affiliate ID but the link stays the same. And then option two, we need to change the complete link. What I'm gonna do in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this one, we're gonna set this one up. I will quickly mention how to set the second one up. It's super easy to do it, but this is the one we're gonna do. So back in custom video player, we've got the pieces of the puzzle ready to go. We need our video. Actually, that's gonna be the sales page where I'm sending the traffic. We need our video, I'm grabbing it from YouTube. Could be a video review. Could be a product example video. For this example, I'm just using the offer video. And then we need an image. Well, we don't need an image actually, but I'm gonna be using an image as, a, as an event, a video banner image. I'll show you how to set that up. So we can actually time when the banner comes on the video screen. So going back into custom video player, I'm gonna first of all, let's put our video in there. So grabbing my video URL here. There we go. We can see the video is loading here. And I'm gonna go into events here. And like I, I mentioned, this is an advanced feature for merchants that wanna actually configure affiliates for their uh, videos for their affiliates. So just using it everyday sort of use, you wouldn't be using these advanced features. Okay, let's add an event image here. So we can actually use this on different videos as well. So I'm gonna put here box image, image URL, and then we can see the preview loading below, and image link. For the image link, we're gonna put our affiliate link. So. Back over here, I'm gonna grab this link here. And where it has the affiliate ID, I'm gonna delete that. And this is where it gets cool. I'm gonna put square brackets and put get, G-E-T space. And then I'm gonna create a variable. So you can create any kind of variable you like that you're gonna pass in through the actual embed code, through the video embed code. I'm gonna use a AFFID. That's the same as this one, 
It doesn't have to be the same. So let me actually change it so nobody gets confused here. I'm just going to make up AID, Affiliate ID. So here we've got square brackets and inside the square brackets it's saying get Affiliate ID. So it's going to get the Affiliate ID uh, from the actual URL. And for those of you that code, you can also use session here. If you've got the affiliate ID as a session, you can also have it as post. So get affiliate ID. We want to open it in the same window. You could also actually redirect the video. I'm going to create a category here for these events and put uh, WP Audio Pro. Add new event. So there we can see our image on the player and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bring it in after one second for this example. Let's slide it in and we can do it just medium speed. I'm going to leave the overlay off and we don't need to stop the video. We're all good to go. Uh, so let's go back to the video settings here. We've got our video settings all good to go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to save this video. So add to save videos. WP Audio Pro Affiliate Video. I could create a group too, but let's not make this video too long. We can put it in a group. Add to saved videos. And here's my embed code. Let's just line that up center. I'm going to grab my affiliate code and I'm going to add the affiliate ID here to the source URL. Let me just bring it over to Sublime. There we go. I'm just pasting in, in here so we can see the code a little bit better. And now remember we had the get AID as the affiliate ID. So what we want to do here is we want to go to the source URL here. And we can see this will be your website wherever you're hosting your custom video player. Question video equals, then we've got the video ID there. And then we just add and AID, that's the variable we set up, equals, and then we just put in the affiliate ID. So for this example, I'm going to put affiliate ID 1000. Save that. And now when somebody clicks this link, it's going to track the affiliate ID. So let's go and test this out. Loading the video here. Let's go ahead and play it. Okay, there's our box. I'm giving it a click. Let me just pause this. And up here you can see affiliate ID equals 1000. So it's passed the affiliate ID through the video player. It's pretty cool. So going back to our code here, if we would change this to video ID is 9999. And let's go back to our embed code. I'm just going to reload the page here. Let's play the video. Give that a click. And now you can see here affiliate ID equals 9,999. Might be easier just to say 9999. But that's how you, you can actually pass affiliate ID data uh, and generate custom embed codes for your affiliates. Now that was a little bit of an advanced tutorial. So um, I hope I didn't confuse too many people. If you need something actually set up, if you, let's say you've got a promotion coming up and, and you want some help setting up this on your site, then make sure you get in contact with me, uh, get in contact through the support, and um, I'll let you know of different options that we have available. If you need this actually built for you, I can do that. If you're a hands-on techie kind of guy, you can go ahead and do it yourself. And as I wrap up this video, let me just super quickly show you the other kind of affiliate link um, if you want to use that option. So we had another kind of affiliate link here. So this one doesn't have, a, let's say, a one variable to change. We actually need to change the whole link. 
and I've just gone back from events. I've gone to uh, my image events and here we can see the one we just set up previously. So if we are using an entire link that we need to customize, then you don't need to square brackets. It's super easy. All you need to do is type in get AID. So it's going to get AID from the URL and use that as an image link. And this variable could be anything. Custom AID, you can make it up. So if that was the case, then in our embed code, we would change AID to custom AID. So it doesn't have to be AID or affiliate link, it can be anything. So if you're passing the full URL, then obviously we need to pass the full URL from here. So instead of having an affiliate ID, we need to pass the actual URL of the affiliate link. Now because you're passing that in, you need to encode it. So you can do that with JavaScript, but I'll show you a site, you can do it just for this example. So if you go to something like encode URL, you can just Google this tool, typing in encode URL, encode, you can see it changes the special characters. So we can now use that and pass that through. So custom AID or affiliate ID, whatever you've got as a variable, and we paste that in, and that's now gonna work and pass that link on as the affiliate link. So you can use that to pass custom information uh, to the custom video player, and also it's extremely secure. So if you're using the first option, where we're just passing the affiliate ID, then you can still control the link so nobody can pass in a different link and use your video for some other promotions. So the first option is the best option, but nothing wrong with the second one as well. So Matthew McDonald here, if you don't have WP Audio Pro, go and grab it now. If you've got the custom video player, then go ahead and try this out uh, for those of you that are online merchants, online sellers. That's it for now. Cheers.